You're losing hair and it's not just genetics. The real problem, your scalp is not getting enough blood flow and oxygen. And the solution is a simple but science-backed technique. Let's just get into it. Hi, my name is Iman and on the channel we talk about natural, scientifically backed methods to combat hair loss. And today there's a groundbreaking study that people who did this saw hair thickness increase in just 24 weeks. So today we're gonna to be talking about scalp massages and these are the studies that I wanted to highlight. Study one. It was a Japanese study done in 2016. Participants who performed daily scalp massages for just four minutes a day experienced thicker hair and hair follicle function in just 24 weeks. Why? Scalp massages stimulates blood flow, it delivers more nutrients and oxygen to the hair follicles, and it helps to reduce scalp tension. Scalp tension causes hair loss because the blood flow gets restricted and that's why you see an interesting M pattern hair loss shape specifically and in men and in women. So scalp massages increases oxygen supply to the hair follicles and reduces DHT buildup which is that pesky hormone that causes hair loss in the first place. ProBrand is a unique device from HairGuard and it essentially pushes upwards, massages the entire scalp at the same time. Significant increase in blood perfusion during the duration of use and continuing after the using results. So from the HairGuard study, the results seem pretty compelling, but there are only four participants of this study. So for that reason, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. So ease of commitment. What's great about the Grow Band is that you don't have to do anything. So it literally takes 10 to 20 minutes, doesn't require any effort from your side. As you need to do scalp massages every day, you would have to wear this 10 to 20 minutes a day. However, you can just use it when you watch TV, which is ideal. But I'm just gonna give this device a four out of five for that reason. Now I'm super lazy. I love that I don't have to do anything and I really believe in blood flow and scalp massages. So I'm giving this device a three out of five. Study two, in 2022, there was a scalp massage and hair follicle strength test. And it was shown that scalp tension actually decreases hair follicles ability to grow and massages reduces mechanical stress. It creates more elasticity in the scalp, allowing follicles to translation. If your scalp is too tight, hair follicles shrink and massages helps to reverse that, which then in turn improves hair thickness. Study three, the role of cortisol and stress in hair loss. It was shown that stress and cortisol was a major cause of hair loss and scalp massages actually help to reduce cortisol and stress levels. Now the final study I wanna highlight is really interesting. It's a peer reviewed study by Perfect Health and it was published in the top 20 dermatology journal and it examined whether scalp massages could improve AGA, androgenetic alopecia and the study included a survey of 350 participants standardizing specific scalp massage techniques and watch till the end because I'll be telling you exactly what these techniques are for varying durations. Now, these are the key insights. More time equals better results. Who massage their hair for 41 minutes per day saw the fastest improvement. Even those who massaged for 10 minutes a day saw improvements but took longer to see results. The other insight is that massages continue to work post-treatment. So unlike treatments like Finasteride or Minoxidil, which plateau after six to 12 months, massage improvements continued long-term, which is amazing. Diffuse hair thinning, so those that have hair thinning across their whole scalp, which could be thyroid, nutritional deficiencies. So there is a commitment to this. So if you commit for eight plus months in stopping hair loss and regrowing hair, and the ideal daily massage is 30 minutes, two sessions, 15 minutes per day. So diffuse thinners, you should rule out other specific causes like nutritional deficiencies, thyroids, or un any other underlying health problems first before you consider scalp massages, because it could be a whole waste of time. And if you don't see any results after six to 12 months, then you can rule out scalp massages are gonna do anything for you. I've linked the study in my description if you wanna read it yourself. So now I'm gonna talk about the exact methods and the exact scalp massages that you can do. You only need your hands, but I will say is that there are specific tools that can help you do scalp massages. I use a rose quartz scalp comb. This helps to create more pressure on the scalp. And if you wanted something that was stress-free, there is also a hair guard also offer a scalp massage, which basically lifts up the scalp and causes blood flow to go to the scalp. I've got a discount code for you guys as well if you wanted to invest more on it. But you don't need to use those things, you can just use your hands. And then 
I'll show you using the rose quartz comb because it's a lot easier with the comb. So with your hand, you wanna start basically picking an area across your whole scalp. So you have the top, the back and the sides. So every 15 minute session should cover all of those. And there are different techniques for the scalp massage. You've got your hand interlocking like this. You've got your fingers for pinching and you've got your knuckles for pushing the scalp together. Interlocking the hair and you just want to completely move the scalp. You don't want to rub your hair follicles. It's all about just moving and invigorating the scalp. And as you can tell, it's a bit tiring, but it's worth it in the end. And then you've got the knuckles. So you basically just push the scalp together and you'll start to see that your scalp will become less tense and more elastic the more you do this. So this is about pushing pressure, your knuckles into the scalp and moving it around. The pinching is done more on this side. I can't really pinch the top, but the more you do scalp massages, the more you can use your pinch. And you basically just wanna grab the scalp and hold it for a few seconds, quite difficult. Then you can use the back of your palms to also push into the scalp to get a bit more pressure. So this is my rose quartz comb. It's made of rose quartz, the healing energy. It's your very own heart stone, but it also just helps to make the scalp massage a lot more enjoyable because of the teeth. It helps to really kind of invigorate the scalp. So I really just, it's like a scalp gua sha and you can literally just push and wiggle. It's a press and a wiggle. So you don't want to like rub, press, wiggle to the scalp and it really moves scalp in like a specific area, which your hand can't really do. And you press, it requires less effort than using your hands. And then you can use it on the back of your neck. This is the best area because this is where all the blood flow goes into your scalp. So you really kind of want to kind of relieve tension here as well. And in your lymph nodes, which is good. And this is how you use the hair guard. You literally put it on. Uh, you can use it for up to 41 minutes. You can do 15 minute sessions. You can literally watch TV. You can get on with your day. And it literally just kind of lifts your scalp. And you can pick how long it rests. Pretty customizable to exactly your measurements and your scalp. You can use my code scalp massages 2025 for 10% off for my scalp gua sha. I want everyone to commit to eight months of scalp massages, half an hour a day. So comment below the scalp massage emoji to let me know that you are committing for eight months. Guys, this is a challenge that I'm putting to you um, so that we can all grow together. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.